Hey guys, it's Simon with Drivefly RC. Today we're going to be taking a look at the FSI6. Uh, it, this might, might apply to the T6 as well. I believe they use the same firmwares or softwares, I mean. Uh, so basically what we're talking about today is endpoints. And this is uh, very crucial. Endpoints and center points for uh, NAS, Flip 32s, anything that uses clean flight or base flight. Setting up your endpoints and your center points is crucial to arming your quad, uh, getting the correct control over your vehicle while it's in the air, flipping. Um, it's a really, really important thing to do. So, this is the FSI-6. What we're going to do is go and hold OK. I'll take us into the menu setup. Um, we're going to be going into function setup. Click OK. Now, uh, it's very simple, like I said, there's endpoints you can see, but let's focus on sub trim first. This is how you set up your center points. You need your center point on each channel to be at 1500. Now, if you look at the clean flight GUI, um, let's, I, I don't have a NAS board with me right at the moment that I can show you the, the, the GUI, but you know what it looks like. You go into the receiver section, uh, you see the little bars kind of like this moving back and forth uh, on the screen. Now what you need to do is uh, plug it in, plug in your quad, uh, plug in the battery and every and turn on your transmitter. So if you move a stick here you should see the bar slide on the screen. Now uh, you're going to want to make sure that all your positions are in the center point. Okay, even if you have a three position switch and you're going to go through each channel. Channel 1 is, uh, let's see, aileron, I believe. I might be wrong. Uh, but what you're going to do is go ahead and adjust this arrow up or down until on the screen in clean flight, it shows the number for this channel at 1500 for sub trim. Then you're going to go through and push OK to go to the next channel. And go through and make sure all of these uh, are centered at 1500 as uh, in the uh, in clean flight using the slider bars now once you've accomplished this this controller has a stupid function you have to hold cancel you have to hold cancel for it to save because if you go in here and you just push this and then you just click cancel you go back in and lo and behold nothing happened but uh, if you hold down cancel that was my 3d printer um, you'll see it made a different noise and now it saved the function okay so that's your sub trims menu now let's go into endpoints okay endpoints click on here you have each channel now this is a clever kind of thing you have to kind of know about channel one is I think it's roll Okay, so when you roll right, um, you'll see that it goes to the right and to the left. This is your high end point. This is your low end point. Your high will always be right. Your low will always be left. Um, and on the other axis, your high, let's see, let's go to the throttle channel and show you this. You just push OK to go down to the next channel. Your throttle up will be your high, down will be your low. And on the GUI, that means that the slider is going to go to the right. Uh, if you have any of your sliders going the wrong direction, you need to reverse that channel. So it all should be, if you go left, it goes left. If you go up, it goes right. If you push right, it goes right, if that makes sense. Um, so basically what you're going to do here is you're going to go through each channel. Let's go back up to the top. Uh, channel 1, which is going to be your roll channel. Uh, your points are going to be a determined number that you set up in the uh, GUI. So in clean flight, your minimum throttle value or your minimum input value, you can set anywhere between 1000 and 1100. I'm going to advise you for this particular control to set it at 1100 on the low throw. That's 1100, okay? And then on the high throw, at 1900 then you'll go into your GUI into uh, setup you can also do this in CLI and you're gonna see make sure that it says minimum throttle 1100 maximum throttle 1900 okay so you need to match those numbers up uh, when you're in the GUI and you push right 
or you push left and you need to adjust the left number, you do have to hold the stick left and then adjust the number uh, on the screen. So hold on a second. Okay, so that means I can't do this while holding the camera, but you have to push this and hold it in that direction and then change the number. Now, if you want to go to the right, you have to hold to the right and then change the number. Okay, so 1100 on the low end, 1900 on the high end. Go through each channel and make sure that they're matching up like that. Now, the three position switch or your flight mode channel, uh, you're going to want that at 1500 in the middle, 1000 at the bottom, or 1100 at the bottom, and 1900 at the, the switch position three. If you're just using a two position switch for your flight modes, you're going to want 1100 at the bottom and 1900 at the top. So you go through and adjust that uh, for each individual channel. And then when you back out, make sure you hold cancel so it saves, uh, saves the functions that we just entered. And that's and then click save and clean flight. And that's pretty much it. You wanna make sure you do that anytime that you're using base flight or clean flight, uh, something that requires you to adjust your endpoints. Now keep in mind when you move your trims, uh, before you do any of this, make sure all your trims are centered. Uh, sorry, I should have mentioned that to you earlier. Uh, you want to do that because when you adjust your sub trims and you, you move this, you're also moving that in the GUI. So if you're flying, your quad isn't hovering well, uh, it's like drifting in a direction and you're using a ton of trim to correct for that, what you're actually doing is moving that throttle value in the GUI as well. So you've just moved your center point that way. And uh, by doing that, you can cause problems uh, if you use too much trim in, in boards like Naze and Flip32. Uh, where you can't arm the quad because you're over here and you adjust your rudder all the way to the right or something and now the center points all the way over here trying to arm the quad and it's not reaching the number value that it needs to to arm the quad if that makes sense so be careful with your trims if your quad is drifting or something like that you need to adjust your gyro sensors and accelerometer and have that calibrated um, in the GUI by just clicking the calibrate button on a level surface make sure that you make sure your service is level if it's not, uh, use shims. If you have a major drift, shim that quad actually and lift it up just a little bit and then recalibrate it. Uh, and make sure that your flight controller is secure and uh, in the center of your quad and level as can be. So I hope that helped you guys understand a little bit more about endpoints and center points using clean flight, uh, flip 32 and boards like that. If you have any questions, uh, please post a comment. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my support channel. This is uh, designed mostly for my customers. But I do get uh, the random requests just from random people to help them out. So I hope this was a helpful video to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night.